What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm super excited because I finally got my carbon fiber front lip from a company, I believe it's called LG. But anyways, I bought the product from A90 Shop. You can hit up A90 Shop on Instagram and they'll have a little link to where the website is. Uh, great company, like I said, I love supporting small businesses. They have a ton of uh, aftermarket products for your A90 or your A91 Supra. Um, other than that, the reason why I got the front lip is my car is lowered on iBox springs. And the rest of the car, you know, I like the way the body line sits, uh, you know, to where the ground is. However, if you look at up here, especially from the front, it looks kind of goofy because everything angles up. I mean, it's great for ground clearance, but, you know, aesthetically, it just doesn't really match. Uh, other than that, it's a pretty easy unit to install. It shouldn't take that long. Um, there's no 3M tape or anything associated with it. You want to mount it to your factory mounting points so you get a you know a solid and secure mounting point to that. Other than that, sit back, relax, grab some refreshing drink, and uh, let's unpackage this and see what's up. See you in a second. So here's the package that it comes in. As you can see, it's uh, <laughs> secured pretty well with wood. And the nice thing is, I already removed all the fasteners, but it, uh, it comes with screws instead of nails. Um, so you just go ahead and take these screws out. Boom, boom, boom. It has a bunch of uh, you know fragile stickers on there. Directional stickers let the uh, shipper know uh, how the package is supposed to sit in the truck. Obviously, it says standing only, but I mean, I just open it. Anyways, let's take the lid off and see what's inside. All right, once again, highly impressed with the packaging. As you see, they, uh, they foamed up the corners so you don't damage anything. And yeah, there it is. So let's take this thing out of the packaging and see what's up. Okay, here it is out of the packaging. I am super, super impressed with the carbon on here. Uh, just like I already ceramic coated my car, I'm gonna ceramic coat this carbon right here to help it protect from uh, bugs and things of that nature. Obviously, it's not gonna do anything against rocks, but it is what it is, but as you can see, you got all the factory mounting points right there. It should be a pretty easy install, but here's a close-up look of the weave pattern. Beautiful. So I'm going to mock this up on the car real quick, just to kind of uh, get a general feel on how it looks. Um, and the other thing is, I've got to tell you that LG is out of Texas, so I'm just super happy that this is an American-made product. So. Yeah, let's uh, toss it on there real quick and see what it looks like. All right, everyone. So I kind of got mocked up right now with some painters tape it. Look at that. That is just super aggressive. I'm so happy, but the only thing is like now I'm scared of speed bumps and you know, <laughs> anything that might mess this up because it, it costs a lot of money. But as you can see, uh, the plastic still shows. So, you know, that doesn't really bother me looks like it's kind of an addition to it instead of full replacement um, but yeah the fitment seems to be very very good I don't see any issues with it however we'll find out once uh, it gets fully installed so there it is all right y'all so the test fitting is good let's go ahead and install this as you can see there's uh, nine holes right there for your fasteners to affix on your bumper I think this one and obviously the one on the other side is just a uh, a structural thing to kind of tie everything in because I didn't find anything that would connect to this. So um, I don't know, maybe just out of better structural support, uh, you probably could add in some uh, 3M exterior adhesive on there, which you could do at any time. So, you know, like I said, this, this lip is over a thousand dollars so uh, I might invest in that in the future but for now I just want to get it mounted see what it looks like and uh, go flex on people all right guys so I don't have the car on a jack I don't think it needs to be on a jack but you can see those little plastic clips that I popped out with my little tool right there and then where those little fingers are pointing uh, those three fasteners have to find a star pattern I'm not quite sure what they are but I mean if you got a toolbox you can figure it out so I'll remove those and uh, I'll see how easy this is. All right, so the fasteners in the center, right here, this is gonna be removed with a T3 
30 torques bit and you know what looking at it i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have to jack up the car because i don't think there's a way i can come from behind with as low this is to uh insert all these plastic and your t30 torx fasteners on there so let's uh prop it up okay guys so as you can see i use the uh oem fasteners the plastic ones right there i got one that's sent out just a little bit i need to press in more and then in the center over there is your uh t30 torx so yeah all right first off that install was super easy everything lined up it's just some awkward angles you have to get in in order to uh, access your uh, t30 bits and also your plastic uh, whatever pop clips whatever you call them so the one thing i will say is uh my ducati here at one time um, it was all carbon fiber fairings and you know carbon fiber could be hit or miss uh when it comes to uh fitment uh but honestly lg motorsports down there in texas you guys did a great job i mean the alignment is just perfect uh in regards to where the fasteners sit so let's flip the camera back around and see exactly the tolerances when it comes to the fitment on the bumper itself uh, once again, I'm sorry for the poor light in the garage. It's freezing outside, but as you can see, I find this fitment to be very, very acceptable. You know, nothing uh, binds up. Everything falls into place nicely. And, you know, it is a bit tighter in some areas compared to like over here, but I don't know. I'm not going to complain about it. Just my biggest thing is just the install. As long as it installs very easily and, you know, everything kind of lines up pretty decent like right here you know i think it's perfectly acceptable as, as far as tolerances go because if you never work with carbon fiber before it's a very hard material to work with because it does flex you know depending if it's hot or it's cold outside um so i find this uh, piece of kit here to be very very easy to work with so once again big shout out to lg motorsports all right y'all so i thought i was done and that hole right there there's a little bracket plate washer and a fastener and I'm gonna go in the car and show you what I missed. So when I had everything mounted in with all the uh, plastic fasteners and whatnot, and the T30 Torx, I didn't realize right here on the side, I pressed down and it went up and down. And you're gonna have to install this bracket right here. Uh, it requires a drill. I don't know what drill bit, but just big enough for that fastener to go through. So let's go underneath the car and show you that. All right, so on the inside, the bottom right here, this is where you're gonna drill into. and basically on the other side uh, you can feel through there and you can reach in from behind there and insert the uh the top of the locking device or nut or whatever for your uh, fastener bit i imagine probably drill right about there once you have everything lined up you can kind of see where it's at and um uh, yep and put that bracket through all right so i got the passenger side done and this is super annoying because you have to line this up that sits inside here in the splash guard after you drill the hole which is a big deal and then you have to try to get this fastener in there and get everything lined up so all in all i think it took me and my buddy about 30 minutes to get everything lined up but it's just super ridiculous so if you don't have a lift it's just going to be a pain in the ass if you're going to do it on a jack but anyways once you get it done it's done and over with but Basically how we have it positioned like this, I just found that this side that's closer to the edge um, goes like that. So the side that's closer to the edge fits um, towards the engine bay in order for it to line up. But I don't know, it's not, I'm pretty sure this isn't all an exact cut piece for every single part that's manufactured. So have a couple beers and uh, have fun trying to line everything up. All right, y'all, so I got everything in there. It's just super aggravating i think if you had access to a lift it'll definitely make it a lot easier um because i had a super hard time lining up everything so basically like i said what i did was i used a uh, screwdriver to kind of just make sure everything was lined up and then i had to hold the top bracket and make sure it didn't wiggle or move on me but in the end you know some of those things you always take your time you know maybe crack a couple funnies have some beers whatever and uh overall it's a pretty easy process other than that you know i hope you guys found this video uh insightful um, if you want to keep up uh, with my further projects on my Supra, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. It's free. doesn't hurt anyone. Other than that, you know, I got more projects in the works for uh, 2021. And um, appreciate everybody watching. Y'all be good.
Peace.